I'm a urologist and sexologist. Semen volume is a topic that's of importance to any age group. But while young men mostly want to show off by boosting what already represents the prime of their life, aging men fight to preserve what they once had. To be honest, as a doctor I've never given it much thought in the early years of my career. Because semen volume is not more than a footnote in andrology. And even in sexual medicine and sexology, there is no chapter on this in any book I know. Yet one day I realized that it matters to many of my patients. So I started to search the databases for articles on semen volume and its significance for sexual well-being. What can I tell you? There were none. That was Many men notice that as they age, their semen volume and the force of ejaculation gradually decline. In today's video, I'll explain why this happens, what factors are at play, and what you can realistically do to help. Let's set expectations first. No matter what you try, you can't turn a 50-year-old body into that of a 20-year-old. But there are several modifiable factors that can make a noticeable difference. I'm Dr. Stefan Buntrock, a urologist and sexologist. Semen volume matters to men of all ages, though for different reasons. Young men often want to enhance what's already at its peak, while older men are looking to preserve what they once had. Early in my career, I didn't think much about semen volume, in medical literature, it's barely mentioned, just a footnote in andrology, and absent from sexual medicine textbooks. But over time, I realized it mattered deeply to many of my patients. Over 10 years ago, I searched medical databases for research on semen volume and its impact on sexual well-being, and found nothing. I repeated the search for this video, and, still nothing. Interestingly, the only study I came across was from the female perspective on semen volume, and I'll share those results at the end. Why semen volume decreases with age To understand the decline, we first need to know where ejaculate comes from. Semen is actually a misleading term, it suggests everything is made in the testicles. In reality, sperm from the testicles makes up only about 5% of the total volume. The rest is produced by the prostate and the seminal vesicles, two small glands attached to the prostate. During orgasm, fluids from all three sources mix and are forcefully expelled by rhythmic contractions of the pelvic floor, especially the bulbocavernosus muscle. In young men, the first contraction can propel semen at speeds up to 31 miles per hour, followed by 10 to 15 more contractions, each bringing pleasure. With age, those contractions weaken, become fewer, and semen volume drops. The prostate's role. As men age, the prostate often enlarges, a condition called benign prostatic enlargement, BPE. BPE can block small drainage pathways, reducing the amount of fluid released. The prostate and seminal vesicles also produce less fluid with age, especially if testosterone levels are low. Certain medications, like tamsulosin, commonly prescribed for urinary problems, can sharply reduce semen volume. Surgeries involving the prostate, such as prostatectomy, can have a similar effect. The pelvic floor connection. The pelvic floor, and specifically the bulbocavernosus muscle, is key for ejaculation. With age, it may weaken, reducing force. Targeted pelvic floor exercises can help, but only if weakness is the problem. If the muscle is overactive, training could make things worse. That's why a pelvic floor assessment is essential before starting any exercise program. An overactive pelvic floor is also linked to post dribble, leaking urine after urination, a problem that may be connected to reduced ejaculatory force. There's even research supporting this correlation. How to support semen volume. Here's what you can do. Get a medical checkup, especially if you have symptoms of late-onset hypogonadism. Prevent BPE, lifestyle habits that protect heart health also benefit the prostate, don't smoke, exercise regularly, and maintain a healthy weight. Hydrate well, adequate water intake supports ejaculate volume. Pelvic floor care, strengthen if weak. Relax if overactive. Manage ejaculation frequency, abstaining for 3 to 5 days often increases volume. Allow longer arousal, extended foreplay may boost fluid production. The female perspective. 
A 2018 study surveyed 240 heterosexual women, median age, 27.4 years, about semen volume and sexual satisfaction. When asked if greater ejaculate volume increased orgasm intensity, only 7. 3% agreed or somewhat agreed. 27% never noticed. 38% said it didn't matter. About 28% disagreed. So, while it's a concern for many men, most women don't see it as a key factor in sexual satisfaction. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Stay healthy, stay safe, see you next time. In the beginning I promised you I would reveal what women think about it. This study was published in 2018 and included 240 heterosexual women with a median age of 27.4 years. The aim of the study was to find out more about ejaculation intensity and ejaculation volume for female sexual satisfaction and function. One of the questions the participants had to answer was, do you experience a more intensive orgasm depending on the subjectively perceived greater quantity of the expelled ejaculate? Only 7.3% completely or somewhat agreed. Nearly 27% never paid attention. Nearly 38% answered that it didn't matter and roughly 28% completely or somewhat disagreed. Interesting. Now you have something to think about this weekend.